Hey guys, it's Russell with DieselGiant.com. On today's video, I'm going to show you how to do an oil change on the 98 Jetta TDI. This procedure is going to be very similar for all makes and models of Jetta diesels. Passat diesels, Golf, and the like. There will be some variations. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be using the Amsoil 1540 Heavy Duty Diesel and Marine Oil. I've been using this oil for the last 355,000 miles in this car. We're not going to use a traditional oil filter. We are going to use the Trasco Bypass Oil Filter. I debuted this filter back in 2006 on my website at dieselgiant.com, kind of before the YouTube days. Ran it for six years and for a variety of reasons ended up using conventional oil filters, but we're putting this back in service. If you want to see how to service one of these filters, you can go back. I'll put a link to the description of a video that I did showing you how to service this Trasco. But first, we're going to do this. We're going to take an oil sample. We're going to take a sample of the oil that's been in this car and send it to the lab. What is this going to tell us? Well, it's going to tell us about 10 to 12 different wear metals, how many parts per million there are. It's going to tell us if we have any fuel dilution. We're going to see if we have any coolant in the fuel or coolant in the oil. We're going to see what our total base number is, which is very important because that shows the oxidative capability that's left in the oil. The higher the number, the better. We'll see the soot level. We'll see things like um, the oxidation the viscosity, things like that. The bottom line is it's very good to periodically do an oil analysis so you can see the internal condition of your engine and also what condition your oil is in. I routinely use a 10,000 mile drain interval with the Amsoil. I have done up to 30,000 miles when I use the Amsoil EAO oil filters. The recommendation on the Trasco is when you first put it on to run it for 5,000 miles, service the element inside, put it back on, and then run it to 10,000 miles, then dump the oil. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take an oil sample of the oil that's in the car now after it's come up to operating temperature, and whatever that mileage is, it's going to be 9,000 and some miles. Um, I will run the Trasco and Amsoil setup the same number of miles and we'll compare results and see if this filter is doing what it's supposed to, if it's doing better than the factory uh, man filter that's on there right now. I don't know, we'll see. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go drive the car, get it warmed up to operating temperature, and then we'll get set up to do our oil change and pulling our oil sample. Alright, there's two ways you can take a sample with the uh, Amsoil kit you can or actually you get it from Amsoil but it's a company called Oil Analyzers. Uh, they have the uh, the pump that you can use with a piece of uh, line that you stick down the dipstick tube which is the way we're going to do it today or you could get underneath the car and as you're draining the oil into the drain pan put the uh, little bottle in the stream which tends to become very messy. So I'm going to do it this way just stick this down in the dipstick tube and then I'll pull a vacuum on it. Unscrew our sample jar. Okay, and it's right at the line. And that's what a proper sample looks like. And then we'll fill out the paperwork later. Depending on your make and model, you may or may not have a underbody splash shield you'll need to remove. I do. So I'll be removing the three bolts holding the splash shield to the frame of the car. After you remove the splash shield, if you have the plastic cover that's over your oil pan, remove that at this time. Next, use a 19 millimeter to loosen your drain bolt and remove the drain plug draining the oil. Make sure that the washer comes off with the bolt. 
allow it to drain until it completely stops. All right, here's where you need to be very, very careful. Volkswagen bolts are bad about this. It looks like the washer's on there, but that's just a ridge that is on the bolt. If we can see up here, while this is still draining, the copper washer was stuck to the bottom of the pan. All right, so I went ahead and loosened the oil filter because the winds died down and my pan is just wide enough so I get both drips. I've still got some dripping from the oil drain plug and I've loosened the filter here. As you can see, I've got magnets. I've always used magnets on my steel filters. But we don't let this drip and I'm going to remove the oil filter. Alright, so I went ahead and installed my new drain plug washer and went ahead and installed the drain plug. Next, I've wiped off the mounting surface where our filter is going. I've got our Trasco filter. I'm going to put a little bit of oil inside the filter. Not too much because this filter assembly is slanted so it'll spill out if I overfill it but I'm going to go ahead and do that and then this will screw right on where the old traditional filter was. Alright we've got our Trasco filter installed and this is a lot easier to get in and out of this space. This is one of the one of the few things that I don't like about Volkswagens is that the space here to remove the stock uh, Spin-on filter is just it's ridiculously small so Bad design Volkswagen they could have Cut this out or something to make it easier, but a lot of times people have to remove this line or loosen it So it swings down uh, But anyway, so the next step is we are going to go ahead and fill the car up with the amount of oil that is required Alright, so after you run the engine for a few minutes, check for leaks. Again, you can't do that too many times. Then let the engine sit 10-15 mm, minutes on a flat level surface and then check your oil level again. And then if you need to add a little bit, go ahead and do that. Okay, so the oil filter and the oil that we just pulled out of the engine was in there for 9,519 miles. Um, have no qualms at all about the oil analysis coming back really good with that oil. Um, that's probably as long, 10,000 miles max is as long as I would want to run an OEM type filter. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to run the Trasco for 5,000 miles, as they say. Then I'm going to change the filter element and put the filter element back in. And then I'm going to go to 9,519 miles or as close as I can and then before we change the oil and filter again we will do an oil analysis just like we did. We'll pull a sample, send it to the lab and then we'll compare the results. I'm, I'm very curious to see if the uh, level of contaminants will go down significantly, if it's going to stay the same. We don't know. The filter medium as far as a micron rating is very 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 good. Um, I think it's around one or two microns, much better than the traditional OEM filter. And I may do, uh, after that I may put an AMSOIL filter on there and do the same test so that we can kind of compare three different filters. Um, but as I said before in the, earlier in the video, I've run the Trasco for about six years in this car and got phenomenal results with it. Always been using the same AMSOIL 1540. Um, since the car had 10,000 miles on it. So I hope this video helped you. If you're interested in the Trasco filter, looking at it for your car or your TDI, then I'll put a link to their website down below. If you've got a later model TDI and you're wondering, well, where's my oil filter? Some of the later model ones, the oil filter is an element style and it's accessible on the 
um, top side of the engine. Much, much, much better design, much easier to get to. Um, unfortunately, for those that have that style filter, I do not believe that the Trasco bypass is available. So this is Russell. On the next video that I'm going to do after this one, we're going to cut open the oil filter that I just took out of here that's got 10,000 miles on it. That's a uh, Hinks oil filter. I'm going to be uh, doing a tool review on the proper way to open an oil filter, not grinding it, not cutting it up with some 10 snips or anything like that. It's a dedicated tool designed to open up oil filters. You should be opening your oil filters when you take them off so you can see if there's any problems developing in the engine that is visible. This is Russell and I'll see you guys in the next video.